okay let's go first you have to add uh, audio that you have and also you have some beats on that and then set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 then adjust your background this background is available on my discord you can get this from there then you have to import the overlay over here i'm using a green screen animation uh, if you are adding uh, overlay you can also add any kind of overlay or cutout so uh, after like adding first animation i have just removed its background then uh, we have to like adjust it like this set the duration according to the clip then add another one like the second one uh, by and now i'm just removing its background then we'll add another one this one removing the background of it then that last fourth one and removing the background of it okay after like adding it make sure that uh, these clips are adjusted according to the beat like leave one beat and then crop it leave one beat and then crop it just like this then uh, make sure that the screen green screen or the background is removed properly so after removing those like uh, backgrounds make sure that the clips are accurately adjusted then you can add some cc to it like uh, over here i'm using some of my custom cc's because the color correction or cc depends on which type of uh, like image or which type of animation or color that you have okay after adding the cc what you have to do you have to come at the starting click on this overlay adjust it like this like into the downside add a keyframe over here then go to the next beat and move this character to this side and go back to the above character add a keyframe increase the scale or like adjust it right above it so we can get down to upward movement and make sure you adjust it properly so i'm just shrinking it and adjusting it then uh, you have to come to the next one which is the blow one this one and adjust this character also and add a keyframe to it okay like this then uh, go to the next beat and over here drag this character to uh, like this side the character is just coming here drag it to this side then go back to the open upper overlay adjust it shrink it down then move this character to the center so we can get the movement of our character by uh, we are making these type of null then also adjust this character like this like shrink it down adjust it so you can get the movement of it go to the next beat and over here what you have to do go up back to the first overlay at the top reduce the scale drag it on the left side then also reduce the scale of the second one drag it on the left side then uh, this one drag it like this then the main which will be on the third beat reduce the scale and adjust it right into the center then for the last one and uh, adjust it right over here okay so we can get the moment now go to the ending shrink out, shrink it out reduce the scale drag it to the right side shrink the scale drag it to the right side then again uh, do the similar thing for this one reduce the scale and adjust it on a little bit on right side so that the fourth character that we have the fourth overlay that we have should come into the center also reduce the scale adjust it right into the center just like this so after adjusting your clips the video or the clips the movement should look something like this like they are moving simultaneously or whatever you want to call it but they are moving on the same beat then you have to add overlay which is this one the stars this is available on my discord you can download this from there now you also have to like adjust it first you have to like adjust the duration of it after adjusting the duration of it you have to set the layer of it so for that click on this overlay this star layer star overlay go to the layer and set it to the one layer so it should be back side of each character then adjust it at the starting on this character add a keyframe over here then go to the next beat add a keyframe and adjust it on the back side of that first character now go back to the go on to the next beat and also adjust it on the next beat on the same character now do the same for each single beat okay adjusting same overlay to same uh, character like in the behind of it now again we will do the similar things like we will add another same similar overlay adjust the duration of it after adjusting the duration of it we will set the layer so over here we will set it to the layer 2 okay because one one 
the layer one is the above then layer two will be this one now for this you have to adjust this one in the background of the second character like we are adjusting or uh, this overlay uh, according to the beat and just right behind of each character so the process is similar you just have to add the overlay add the keyframe adjust the keyframe according to the character okay make sure you add four overlays okay four overlays will be the character ones and the four overlays will be the star one that will be added into your video okay after like adjusting those stars and overlay and adding the beats and adding the graphs sorry adding the keyframes we will add graphs into it so i'm using ease out graph the video is fast forwarded i know it's getting a little bit more complicated but it's like a little bit more advanced one so but make sure that we have to add the graphs for faster and smoother movement so we have used ease out one graph after this if you want to add aura or glow into it so we have to make copy of every single overlay that we have so over here i will make a copy of it drag it just right under it and adjust it properly do the similar things to all the characters overlay that we have in the main track or the overlay track okay copy it drag it downside adjust it. copy it drag it downside adjust it. okay after adjusting our clips we have to go into the video effects and over here we have to search jvc effects okay jvc effect and uh, you can also use the glow effect but i will recommend if you want the glow better you can use jvc effect then set the color of it to zero intensity and filter will be 100 then set the object of this to the overlay that we have then make a copy of it like uh, make a copy of this jvc effect now you can see that our glow is coming right behind of it then and make another copy then change the object of this to the next one overlay okay and then again one make one more copy so we will use two jvc effect on every single overlay that we have in the behind to give the aura to our characters or the glow to our characters and i hope you guys have uh, like understand how we did that and after that check it out one or two times then export your video so after exporting your video the work is not completed we have to import the same video into a new project you can see that i have imported the same video in a new project and i have also the beats then we will set the aspect ratio of it so over here we will use three by four ratio after that we will increase the scale adjust it adjust our character like this in the center add a keyframe go to the after adjusting this go to the next beat like this and over here you have to increase the scale adjust it so that our character get a zoom in effect on it like this then go to the next beat and in the next beat you have to zoom in on the character which is coming from the left side then go to the next beat zoom in on the next character which is coming from the right side and for the last after adjusting this one for the last we have to zoom in on the last character which is coming from the left side so after adjusting these like like these type of things are a little bit more complicated but if you learn these type of things you can get uh, your edits way more better and you can improve your edits way like it should be more like a pro feeling to you okay then add a keyframe uh, sorry add graphs in it so the graph will be ease out graph in it so make sure you add this graph in between of each single keyframe now you can see that our clips are looking better but we have to add motion blur to it so the blur will be 15 and the blend will be 5 to 10 then add this effect so this will give you some like motion blur into when the movements are happening into your clips it will give you some blur then you can just export it and i hope you guys have learned something new and i hope you guys will try these type of nulls in your edit till then we'll be in the next video and peace out